Hi guys! I hope you're all doing great. Thank you for dropping by. It's Jane once again and welcome back to another perfume video. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about fragrances. Today's video features the newest fragrance from Niche House, Juliet Has A Gone. And this is called Magnolia Bliss. Let's just say I have high hopes for this perfume. I reviewed the last two fragrances they came out with. While I didn't like Lily Fantasy, I definitely like Pear Ink enough to put it in my full bottle worthy list. And so if you'd like to hear more about this perfume then please keep watching I have here a travel spray of the fragrance. I will be inserting a photo of the actual bottle right here. So the bottle is an ombre red and yellow. In the same bottle design, the red sort of fades into a lovely yellow. Very pretty and eye-catching. There is a hippie vibe around the campaign inspired by the 70s of freedom of sunsets on the beaches summer. This perfume comes in 50 and 100 ml full bottles and 7.5 ml travel spray bottle which is what I have over here. Magnolia Bliss is a floral, fruity fragrance, unisex targeted, and comes in Eau de Parfum concentration. I couldn't find the perfumer for this one. Top notes are bergamot, petit grain, lemon, and ginger. Middle notes are nectarine, magnolia, freesia, peony, and green gauge. Base notes are ambroxan, mask, tonka bean, and vanilla. There is a familiarity that hit me on first spray. I couldn't quite put a finger on it at first. The all too familiar synthetic and chemical smell of Ambroxan and probably a few more aroma chemicals that Juliet has a gun is known for is definitely there. But that's not it. I guess the brand is definitely going for that nostalgic feel, the 70s vibe as it is written in the website. But that's not it. I went back to my perfume cabinet and looked up and down. This perfume is nostalgic, is familiar for the simple reason that I own or better yet owned a fragrance that smelled very similar. It is a fragrance I recently decluttered to give to my mom and it is Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea Nectarine Blossom which is also super similar like dupes similar to Jo Malone's Nectarine and Honey. Up close, Magnolia Bliss is a fruity fragrance to me. So where is the Magnolia? I've sniffed and searched high and low for that floral smell that's Magnolia. There is a fruity facet to Magnolia, I am told, but the Magnolia I know from, say, Eau de Magnolia by Frederick Mal is not here. I was looking for a familiar creamy, petally fresh, a little green, a little citrusy white floral. Didn't find it here up close. I was ready to declare that this Magnolia Bliss is a misnomer. This should have been called Nectarine Bliss because smelling this up close on my skin, that's the dominant note. The fruity, juicy, fleshy smell of nectar with honey-like sweetness that's what you get here almost exclusively close your eyes and this is your Jo Malone nectarine and honey or your Elizabeth Arden nectarine blossom and that fruity scent on skin doesn't change it is linear and the same all throughout so where is the magnolia it is in the trail I don't know how they did that but the trail this carries is a floral bliss more specifically a magnolia bliss it is the scent that you leave behind the scent that people around you are going to smell in the air you hardly get fruits or nectarine even if you sniff and search high and low it is lovely I received compliments when I tested this out in the air magnolia bliss is a floral fragrance to me I do not know if a fragrance that has two different personalities is supposed to be called complex on skin, this remains the same fruity scent. In the air, it remains the same floral scent. Should we call it linear? Should you call it complex? You be the judge. Oversprayed, this has moderate projection and a pretty enormous sillage when newly sprayed for about 30 minutes and then it gets closer and closer to skin the longer it stays on. This is still very much present midday after about 5 hours from initial spray. I had to top up out of habit. Longevity is at par with most Juliet Hesagon perfumes which are generally good for lasting. At the Sephora US website, this 7.5 ml retails for 28 US dollars. The 50 ml bottle is 100 US dollars. The 100 ml costs 135 US dollars. Art of Scent carries this brand locally, but I haven't seen this in store yet. Local price of Juliet Hesagon perfume is anywhere from 5,000 pesos for the 50 ml to 8,250 pesos for the 100 ml bottle. 
Intended for summer, there is no question as to the wearability in local climate. This will do well as an everyday all-occasion fragrance, even as a signature scent. This is not very difficult to wear on a daily basis to the office, to do errands, maybe even to work out. The sweetness is subtle, more fruity sweet than vanilla so this is going to do well in humid weather. The fruity freshness is going to cut through the heat of summer and the light floral airy goodness of magnolia is a happy trail for the people around. Definitely mass appealing, there is nothing off-putting in this. You have to be familiar with jug fragrances to understand that chemical undertone all of their fragrances carry, so that's that. This perfume is feminine to my nose. The Jo Malone fragrance is feminine as well as the green tea one. Juliet's signature minimalism puts me in awe all the time. A minimalistic fragrance with two faces speaking through, intentional or not, is pure genius. Not a fragrance that's going to blow your socks off, but I got to give credit to their execution. Overall, rating this perfume a 7 over 10. Mass appealing and fairly mainstream smelling to me. This isn't all too niche to me, except that the scent on skin is so different from the Siage. That right there is what sets this one apart from the smell alikes, the Jo Malone's and the Elizabeth Arden's. That right there is what may justify the price. Composition-wise, this isn't exactly a wow. Not a must-own, but a must-try for lovers of fresh, fruity florals. Sample on skin first as I find that Juliet has a gun fragrances can be a little tricky. The aroma chemicals they use in their fragrances may work or may not work well with your skin chemistry. Sample if you can or buy a travel spray like this one and decide on a full bottle later. It is a no for me. Not a big fan of nectarine in general. I like magnolia in perfumes but I like to smell it on my skin. This travel spray I will keep and hope to finish but I don't think I am getting a full bottle. And that is it for today, you guys. I hope you found this video useful, helpful, and I hope you enjoyed watching nonetheless. Thank you all for joining me today. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so I know you like my content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Don't forget to drop me a comment down below what you think of Magnolia Bliss or any Juliet Has a Gun fragrance you might have tried. Until the next video, take care you all and smell your absolute best. Bye!